What's going on? You got RP Rock here, and today we're at Mid City Gym. We are week four squats, which means I'm working up to a heavy triple. The goal is 565 to 585, something in that range for three. You know me though, we're going for that six plate, so uh, let's get to it. Whenever it's with the bar, I find it a little more difficult to drive into the right positioning once it gets heavy. That should improve over time. Knees are crying. I'm gonna bring this over here so I could uh, sit and be lazy during my breaks. So, Kelvin, I have a little gift for you. I brought the, uh, the two inch defeater. Congratulations, you won the giveaway for uh, some nosebleed mini. So. One plate, two plate, three plate, four plate, five plate, maybe 545, and then six plates. If it's moving well, then we're just hopping straight to six. Used to that, built like that. Got <laughs> these baddies on. Some people, uh, they've asked me, why am I so quad dominant? You see, I got really big quads. I have almost no hamstrings. I think it's because uh, early on in my lifting career, my like very first couple of years of leg days would consist of squats, if I was feeling up for it. But then I would do like four by 20 in the leg press, a little bit of both, but then I would just go absolute ham on the uh, quad extensions, seated quad extensions. Um, didn't really isolate hamstrings at all. So I think that plus just genetics is kind of where my quad dominance came. I think out of the three lifts, for my squats being probably the least consistent from a form standpoint, they are generally the most consistent from a not failing standpoint. Like I don't think I've failed a squat knock on wood for like two years, whereas I failed a bench yesterday <laughs> and deadlift probably not too long ago as well. But uh, squats are loyal for me being able to just grind that shit out. Um, so that's why I'm pretty confident going into this 585 for three. So fast, I'm gonna off my bounce. So last week, I hit for my triple, 550 for three, which was already a pretty massive PR. The previous week I had 525 for three, which was already a PR, so I just, I'm not really hitting triples out here all that often, which means basically anything I touch is a PR. But this is the first one, uh, 585 for three, where I'll actually both be a PR and feel like a PR. Um, I have a little one rep max calculator and three reps of 585 correlates to like, I think a 540 or 545 max, or sorry, 640 or 645 max, which, uh, I mean, my previous max is 625. So I think if I get this for three, that means I got 20 pounds in my winter max easily. Grindhouse, that was a good one. Learned a lot on that one, so. Waist cinched, and we are just about ready to go. So, let's make this five plates look like my almost luwu, because it is my almost luwu. That's the freaking fly. Hey, can't be uh, distracted when I'm recording for you guys. I do think I perform better than when you film me, honestly. So I don't want to disappoint you and the people watching, so. This music is whack, though. <laughs> Last 
last warm up. Lulu. Could have been a little better in my hands. I was trying to roll it as it was already in my hands, kind of roll it out, roll it back, get the position a little more favorable, but moved well enough. I could have got 10 of those, maybe not, but I could have gotten more than three, so we're going up. Fuck it, we out here. <laughs> Positioning was absolute dog shit, but we'll get it next time. Definitely jinx myself saying I hadn't failed squats in two years. But you know, you live and you learn. Um, I think it's been a common theme for me, at least the past two days. Yesterday I benched a triple, first rep through, or flew, second rep, missed groove. Same thing this time, so. Uh, I managed to finish it out. It's still a solid two rep max for me. So I think it's a, it's a good omen. I don't know what that equates to for one rep max, but I'd imagine it's close to my max anyways. Um, but we still have more, more to give. And I'm happy that wasn't a strength thing. That was fully a positioning thing, which means I think I have some serious numbers come June. So not the, not the way I wanted to go, but we're out here. We're gonna keep building. So uh, I don't feel like waiting for the leg press. So we're just gonna send it on hack squats. My least favorite leg machine. I legit, I don't think I've ever done more than two plates on this. And it was probably like two plates for three reps. So we'll try to send it. I feel like I gotta punish myself for that poor performance on squats. So maybe work up to three plates and uh, do like an AMRAP or something. We'll see. That already felt too heavy. I don't think I could get two reps to three plates, so we're switching to a uh, leg press. <laughs> Just gonna move these two plates over. There we go. Four plates. One of the uh, the first leg day keys to success I got was from uh, this ex Vanderbilt football player turned bodybuilder, turned rugby player turned bodybuilder, who uh, he told me to do like sets of 20 on leg press. So I used to do four by 20. That shit would destroy. And that was right after squats too. So we're not going that much volume today, but I got to channel that energy. This is uh, six plates, which is uh, probably the most I've ever done. I think I've gotten it for a good eight reps before. Pretty energetically, full depth. I'm not like these leg pressers out here, that quarter rep, get a little calf workout in, you know, we're doing the whole thing, so. All right. Depth check. One, two, three. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, bro. <laughs> Fuck it, man. We bouncing off the bottom too. Cheat reps only. <laughs> As Kelvin so astutely pointed out, we barely got space on this. And I know it's kind of a meme. Only dumbasses put clips on like Smith and Schindler leg like presses, but you saw how aggressively I was doing those reps. I think legitimately, if I don't have clips on, 
plates are going to fall off, so we're putting the clips. <laughs> Fuck it. Clips in the leg press. That means this, once again, is a monumental moment. This is the first time I've done any lift, except for maybe rack pulls at eight plates, so we're going to see it fucking fly. How many reps am I getting? Comment down below. I don't know yet, so. <sighs> Not too shabby. All right, so you know we're we're making history out here. Um, seven plates moves so well. I tried eight. Eight moves so well for ten reps. I'm gonna try to get up to uh, nine and then ten plates. The only reason being. Eight plates plus the empty machine, which is 103 pounds, is 823. I want to get to 1,000, 1,003 to be exact, just so I got that, the, the title. Because I'm either titled in this video 585 fail or 1,000 pound leg press. Y'all know which one sounds better, so. <laughs> I feel like by uh, by me doing this, it's like I'm declaring a war on all the old heads who leg press like eight plates and squat 225. Because <laughs> I'm squatting more and I'm leg pressing more than y'all. So for all the haters here, 1,003 pounds, 10 plate leg press, get at me. Candy pain, shout out Obsidian Ammonia, code RP Rock, bucked up, code RP Rock 1. Oh! <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll probably have a back day next, so stay look out for that. Mama, I'm a star wars study storm trooper. Keep the jewelry same color as a oompa loompa. Gotta love the way she twerk and make that